Stall is a playstyle in Pokemon that aims to use pure defense to win a game by outlasting the opponent. They try to stop everything you have defensively and beat you down by slowly running you out of health with moves like Toxic or even by trying to run you out of power points. Love it or hate it, Stall is a playstyle you will have to know how to beat if you want to play singles Pokemon. Stall itself has varying amounts of success depending on the tier and generation. Sometimes it can be overpowered, like in Generation 6 where Mega Sableye ended up having to get banned, or Generation 7 Yu Yu where Quagsire ended up getting banned. Most times though, Stall is just another playstyle that you have to be ready for and it does have its limitations. We're gonna look at my top 5 Pokemon to beat Stall. These are not the only Pokemon that beat Stall, and many offensive teams can break through by playing aggressively and putting on the pressure, but these do certainly offer good matchups. As a note, Stall is not a monolith. Every Stall team is different and every Stall team is weak to different things. There is no one-size-fits-all bandage, and while there are certainly Stall staples like Unaware Pokemon and Blissey, there's still flexibility with the other Pokemon they can pick. That means there could be Pokemon that are good versus some Stall teams, but bad versus others. If there's a Pokemon that's gaining in popularity that beats common Stall teams, Stall can itself adapt to that and change their structures too. We're going to be looking at Pokemon that have the most consistent matchups versus all types of Stall and are not complete deadweight versus other playstyles too. It's important to make a fundamentally good team as well. Also make sure to subscribe, it's free and helps out the channel a lot. Also, this video is brought to you by our sponsor. New Legends Will Be Born Bloodlines Heroes of Lithus is a hero collector fantasy RPG with 3D graphics. You can collect champions, build kingdoms, and combine forces of various bloodlines to create legendary heroes for your houses. Explore a fantasy world in stunning 3D graphics and find the best companions and waifus to grow your champion's hair and legacy. The possibilities are endless as you grow your bloodline and you mix and match dozens of abilities to create your perfect combination of 5 truly powerful abilities. My favorite clan is the Werewolf Clan of the Lycans, and I'm sure you can find your own favorite clan too. The controls are easy to use and you can build your kingdom for free on both Android and iOS. If you use my link, you can get access to the Clan of the Dragonborn for free, and you can get access to the hybrid Half Dragon Half Demigod clans too. You can also use my gift code to get a special starter pack worth $20. So what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description to get started today. The first one is Tapu Lele. Lele is one of the best wall breakers in general because of its powerful stab combination with Psychic Surge. When discussing a special attacker's ability to break stall, they must be able to beat Blissey. Choice Specs Lele can do that with Psy Shock, which targets Blissey's weak physical defense. Tapu Lele also has Focus Blast, which hits Steel types, which means it's very difficult to switch into. Only predictions can save you from a Choice Specs Tapu Lele. Lele preys on defensive teams because they often can't hit it too hard, which means more chances for Lele to cause damage by coming in in the first place. Offensive teams do better because they have more Pokemon that can outspeed Lele, but they also make it tougher for Lele to get into the game in the first place. Calm Mind Tapu Lele movesets work too in the same way, but trade initial power for move flexibility. While it's still an amazing option, the trade-off is that without the raw initial power, you can struggle more and get caught in a nasty situation where you're not initially strong enough and at the same time don't find opportunities to use Calm Mind because you're so scared of moves like Toxic. Finally, even Choice Scarf Future Sight Tapu Lele can work well to break stall. Choice Scarf doesn't have the sheer power to break through, but Future Sight lets you form offensive cores with other Pokemon that can. The development of Future Sight to break stall is itself an interesting story. People like to use Future Sight Slowbro with Teleport. If you switch into a bulky Pokemon, Future Sight and then teleport out into a powerful attacker like Choice Banded Tyranitar or Urshifu, these attackers can break stall teams like coordinating the Future Sight to activate at the same time as a physical attack. For example, Urshifu Rapid is normally walled by Toxapex, but not while Future Sight is active. However, to combat this, Toxapex on stall started using Light Screen. With Light Screen support, Toxapex and friends can take on Future Sight combinations. The advent of Light Screen Toxapex led to the development of Future Sight Tapu Lele. 
Toxapex can't easily switch into Lele and use Light Screen like it can versus Slowbro. Future Sight Tapu Lele plus Physical Attackers form a deadly attacking combination. The main flaw of Lele, however, is that it has a high skill cap. It is not an auto win button. It can be prediction reliant, and you have to manage things like hazards and make sure that Lele can come into the game while avoiding moves like Toxic. With Future Sight movesets, you have to coordinate your attacks well to take advantage of synergy. Some stall teams even use Pyapa Berry Toxic Toxapex, but that's uncommon in Gen 8. Stahl struggles with the well-played Lele, but playing well with Lele is easier said than done. Number 2 is Crawdont. Crawdont's raw power from its high attack stat, good ability and adaptability, and strong base power moves like Knockoff or Crab Hammer make it an excellent stall breaker. Furthermore, it has boosting moves like Swords Dance to muscle through walls like Toxapex. The key part though is that it has enough initial power to beat unaware Pokemon like Clefable and Quagsire. Crabhammer is strong enough to 2-hit KO these Pokemon, and it becomes very difficult for stall teams to beat it. Crawdont is often seen on rain teams too for that extra power. Crawdont's main flaw is that it's slow. A powerful but slow wallbreaker isn't good if it gets outsped by a lot of top Pokemon like Urshifu. Aqua Jet helps, but it's still undoubtedly its biggest weakness. In the stall matchup, however, Crawdont feeds off of bulkier teams who can't exploit its weakness. Similar to Lele, you have to play carefully with it. Crawdont is not immune to any hazards, it's vulnerable to moves like Toxic, and will take recoil if you equip a Life Orb. Overall though, it's a top pick for when you want a good way to beat Stall. Third is Nasty Plot, Trick, Black Sludge, Sloking Galar. Sloking Galar leverages many of its natural advantages to beat Stall. Its poison type makes it immune to Toxic, and it also helps beat Unaware Clefable. But the kicker is its move Trick with Black Sludge. Nasty Plot Sloking is dangerous and can force people to bring in their special walls. Then, Sloking tricks a Black Sludge onto these Pokemon. Long term, especially with things like Sludge Bomb Poison, Sloking Galar can actually beat these special walls 1v1 with the support of Black Sludge. Because of Regenerator, Sloking Galar can keep coming in and out to heal, while Special Walls take too much damage each time until Galarian Sloking can finally break through. It's a steady burn right until Sloking finds the right time to break in. Number 4 is a broad category of Pokemon called Trappers. While traditional trapping techniques like Arena Trap and Shadow Tag are banned, there are still other trapping ideas like abilities with Magnet Pull and moves like Whirlpool and Block. Defensive teams often heavily rely on defensive synergy because they can't fight back. Their plan is to hold on by switching into the right counter to the right Pokemon. If you can remove a part of the core, the team can fall apart because they can't switch into the right Pokemon, and they don't have the offenses to go for a strike first policy. There are quite a few trappers who have been popular over the years. The most famous pure trapper is Whirlpool, Taunt, Nature's Madness Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini can trap you with Whirlpool, take large chunks of HP out with Nature's Madness, and then taunt you to stop you from recovering. Magma Storm Heatran is also a good one, because it doesn't require you to devote anything extra. Magma Storm is already its best move. Taunt, Magma Storm Heatran can even beat traditional special walls like Blissey. The main drawback with Heatran though is that many stall teams prepare for it because it's so common. For example, a lot of Toxapexes on stall actually use the item Shed Shell, to escape Tapu Fini and Heatran's trap. Besides that, there are other options too like Block Toxapex, who PP stalls you to death with Spite, and Imprison Block Mew. Imprison Block Mew works by using Block and then transforming. After transforming, it uses Imprison to stop you from making moves and hence forces you to struggle. Last, but certainly not the least, is Magnet Pull Magnezone. Magnezone can trap popular steel types on stall like Corviknight and Skarmory, to open up holes for its teammates. For example, Grass Types plus Magnezone is a popular strategy that uses Magnezone to remove Corviknight for Pokemon like Rillaboom and Kartana. This strategy works with any powerful wallbreaker whose Achilles heal is Corviknight. Corviknight and Skarmory can use Shed Shell, and some teams do, but usually they get more value out of other items like Leftovers and Rocky Helmet. At number 5 we have Swords Dance Kartana. Kartana benefits from a sky-high attack and immunity to Toxic which makes it great for breaking walls. 
its typing also gives it a natural advantage versus unaware Pokemon like Clefable and Quagsire. It can soften up Pokemon early with knockoff and then rip through later with a Swords Dance boost. Stalls do sometimes use Tornadus Therian to deal with Kartana. For that reason, Kartana only works well on teams where you can keep Stealth Rock up reliably to pressure a Tornadus after it gets knocked off. Also, Unaware Clefable occasionally uses Flamethrower specifically for Kartana because it can live one Leaf Blade so that's something you'd have to watch out for. Finally, some honorable mentions. I don't want to give the impression that Stall is unplayable and that if you don't use a specific Wall Breaker, you automatically lose. There are a lot of ways to beat Stall that are more situational. Just having powerful Wall Breakers can be enough if you pair it with Hazards and moves like Knock Off to remove Leftovers and Heavy Duty Boots. Bandit Tyranitar is an example of a Pokemon who can do well just by throwing off attacks like Crunch and Stone Edge. Weavile does well with Future Sight support, and Blacephalon is powerful and has Trick to cripple opponents. Melmetal can also be tough to deal with if it has Paralysis support. Having two Regenerator Pokemon on the same team is also deserving of an honorable mention. While it doesn't outright win games, it does give you a safety net by regening off whatever weak hit Stall throws at you. In the worst case, it can also force a tie if the Stall team can't do enough damage to stop you from infinitely switching between regen Pokemon. What top 5 do you want to see next? Let me know down in the comments below.